In today's video, I want to share a couple of macros which I frequently use when working with selections. I hope you like them and the link to download them is in the description. Let's start with the first one, which I call copy selection as pixel. It helps me with one of the most frustrating features in Affinity Photo. When you make a selection and want to copy and paste the selection as a new pixel layer, you have to remember that this only works with pixel layers. Even though you have a selection, when you do a copy paste from an image layer, the whole image layer is copied. So I have to duplicate the layer, rasterize it, copy the selection, and finally remove the duplicate after pasting. An alternative and quicker way could be to invert the pixel selection and then delete the selection. This saves a copy, paste and a remove layer step. Even though it is possible, it is not super ideal. With this macro, I can just make a selection and no matter what layer is selected, whether it's a pixel, curve or image layer, it will copy the selection from the active layer to a new layer and retain the selection. This is for me a big time saver and it is pretty awesome. This is very useful when you want to experiment quickly and for pretty straightforward selections. For example, I can use a part of the image to extend the background very quickly. The next macro does the same, but instead of removing information, it will use a mask. Basically, it duplicates the selected layer and then applies the mask as a duplicate. The end result is very similar to the previous macro and in most cases this would be a better way to copy a selection from a layer as you can adjust the mask to correct the selection. The third macro is a variation of the same steps. But instead of keeping the selection, it removes the selection by applying the selection as an inverted mask. Sometimes I like to work with the pen or the curve to draw a selection area. Most of the time you can use the curve layer as a clipping child, which should be your first choice. But if you require a pixel copy of it, this macro is super useful. Again, this is a convenience macro and it is just duplicating the active layer and then rasterizes the clipped version. I use this only when I really need a pixel layer or when I want to do a quick experiment. It is also quite useful when you want to make a pixel copy of a stroke selection. For example, it will be super easy to make a pixel copy of a circle. As you see, with a couple of clicks we can create something interesting. Our next macro is the macro that I showed in my previous video. With this macro you make a selection of a subject and when you apply this macro it will blur the background. For more information about the exact steps applied, check out the video on blurring backgrounds, link will be in the description. The final macro is a variation of the first macro. The first macro copies and pastes a pixel layer from the active layer. This macro will create a pixel copy of the selection from what is currently visible. It just applies a merge visible and keeps the selection from this merge visible. Again, not a very super complicated macro, but saves you a couple of steps, especially if you want to stack effects on top of each other. I hope these macros will be useful for you and have fun with them. Thank you for watching again and until the next video.